it was all prime 1980 and uh and i'm living here you know i got a, I got a job a security job and uh my mom is here and all my friends that i grew up with we went to school together i said if you if you stay there you're going to get killed these people are crazy and i said i got nowhere to go you know I, for for a few years i kept saying it's going to, it's going to get better and uh, it didn't get better but eventually uh in my opinion they started uh they started filming Miami Vice in 1984. That was it. And I think they showed all these beautiful scenery, all the beautiful girls, all the nice scenery. And uh, they started fixing it up, painting, uh, renovating buildings. And in my opinion, that, that's, what, that's what really turned it around. We had a mayor that was very progressive. Uh, he, he rode around with the police, Alex Dowd. He went to prison for a year and a half. Bribery, corruption, great guy. Good friend of mine. Oh, good friend. I just talked to him uh, uh, two nights ago. He might do an interview. He doesn't go out much. Alex is, he's 77 years old. He's real big now, real heavy. Big, giant guy. And uh, he's got a lot of great stories. But when they started filming Mom and Vice, they started fixing up hotels. They started charging more money. Then uh, the, the beach, it changed. <laughs> The, the rumor was that they they got me from behind uh, a couple of times. That's, but I I was never officially you know with you know signed and but I, I saw them filming all the time. The first time uh, I'm walk I lived on Seventh Street at the time, so I'm walking home from the run and the swim. It's it's, it's an, you know it's early evening, and the desk clerk at, at the Beacon Hotel on on Seventh Street, he says to me, uh, "We got these little dinners they, they're giving out." I said, he said, do you want one? I said, sure, I was hungry. I, I just finished my workout. You know, it's an apple, it's a sandwich, a little thing of orange juice. He said, they're filming some kind of silly TV show. I said, really, w what's the name? He said, I think it's called My on the Vice. So as, as he tells me that, I see Don Johnson run down the stairs. And I said, I, I know that guy. I've seen him in a couple, um, I've seen him in a couple of movies. And he's, he's pretty good. And then all of a sudden, uh, the show's on TV, it's a big hit, and uh, the rest is kind of history. I, I never officially was on. I have a whole bunch of friends uh, that got on. There's a homeless guy that got on uh, uh, with a, he had a gun, and I still see him. I said, I saw, you know, that, that's his claim to fame. You were on my advice with a gun. He goes, I was, I was, you know, you know, and he's homeless, but that, that's his claim, that's his life's claim to fame. You know, every so often I'll see a rerun. I had a buddy of mine that he was from Cuba. He got on as a, a crazy um, uh, chemist developing new drugs. You know, so every t every almost every episode you'll see somebody you know. There was a guy who lived in my building who owned a clothing store. He he was like a lead character on one show. Uh, Benny Curto, who was a fighter that I knew from the gym, he had a lead part in there. So every time you looked, there was. Uh, somebody you knew on there and then they'd had a lot a lot of good guest stars like willie nelson and, you know even alex dowd was on twice he's on two episodes he played a judge yeah and they had they had a good soundtrack so that made it you know yeah that made it exciting and the, i don't i don't think they ever used uh the gloria or emilio esteban for anything i don't I think it was a little before their time before she got real popular although um I, I think uh, yeah, some of the stories were pretty simple. They weren't they weren't that you know they weren't that in depth. But it, you had to go for the car chases, the clothes, the, the whole thing, the music. So now I, I did an interview once with this. I don't I won't say his name because he, he he's kind of a local. I, I think he's I think he's gay. But and he he says the whole beach changed around when Versace got murdered. That was his thought because we did an interview with some French people. And I said, and I thought, no, no, my advice was the big thing. And he, he was swearing, you know, when Versace got murdered, things got, you know, that, that changed the beach. But Versace wasn't here that long. And this was years after, you know, the filming of my advice. So uh, I, I don't agree on that. 